Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve this problem here, problem 8.9 from study group book. So the question is the current in an RLC circuit is described by this differential equation. d squared i over dt squared plus 10 di dt plus 25i is equal to 0. And we are given that the initial, vol initial condition i0 is equal to 10 ampere. And then the i over dt of 0 is 0. Then the question is find i t for t is greater than 0. Okay. We have this differential equation here. And I think let's see the step by step of solving this differential equation. Because this is equal to 0. And then the last, I mean the highest order of differentiation is 2. So this one will be a uh, homogeneous, homogeneous, and then this one is second order, right? Second order differential equation. So this is more about mathematical problem rather than circuit problem. And the first step that we need to do is to solve the characteristic equation. Solve the characteristic equation. And what is a characteristic equation? We need to solve a quadratic equation because this one is second order differential equation. And we take the coefficient. So this one will be 1. 10 and 25 so we will have a quadratic equation with the coefficient of s square is 1 and then plus we will have 10 s and then we will have 25 here so i will have plus 25 and then that will equal to 0 good now let's factorize the things here so we will have s plus 5 and then s plus 5 that will equal to 0 right and so we will have s is equal to minus 5 and uh, or we have s is equal to minus 5 and because we have this minus 5 and minus 5 we will have the case of identical roots right identical roots okay and let's see the second step here the second step is the see the roots of the characteristic equation see the roots of the characteristic equation good uh, now we have minus 5 and minus 5 that will be identical root but if we have different roots different real roots let's see Let's say S is equal to alpha here. We will have our solution. IT is equal to A e to the minus alpha T. And then plus I, a different real root. We will have two roots, right? That is different. Alpha and beta. Let's see it like that. So we'll have this one here plus B e to the minus beta t and this is the case where this is a different real roots but this is not the case because this is identical roots and then the second case will be if we have complex roots if we have complex roots we will have s is equal to alpha plus minus j beta like this we will have it is equal uh, i mean this is not 
minus. I will have A E alpha T, then B E theta T, right? And here we will have it like this. We will have some constant A, and then E alpha T, and then we will have cosine theta T plus sine theta T. And this is if we have complex root. But we have an identical root. So this is not the case. So we will have our differential equation, which is the third case. Identical roots. We only have S is equal to alpha here. And for this one, we'll have IT is equal to A E to the alpha t plus b t e to the alpha t and this is the case for our differential equation so here we will have our solution this is the general solution so we will have i t is equal to a e to the what is our alpha alpha is minus 5 right so we will have minus 5 t and then plus b t e to the minus 5 t. and this is the general solution but we are given initial condition here so we'll have i0 and then i prime 0 right and so we need to do the third step which is to solve for the initial condition okay let's do exactly okay let's do the third step which is solve to the initial condition solve initial condition okay we are given that i0 is equal to 10 ampere so we'll have i0 is equal to 10 so we need to plug this one zero here into this equation here so we'll have a and then e to the minus 5 multiplied by 0 plus p multiplied by 0 and then e to the minus 5 multiplied by 0 and that will equal to 10 and then a e to the 0 is 1 so we'll have 1 here and then plus this one will be 0 right because b multiplied by 0 that will be 0 and that will equal to 10 and then so we'll have a is equal to 10 good we have the value of a but then we will need to get the value of b but we are given that the i prime 0 value is 0 so let's do that so our di over dt let's derive let's derive this function here so we will have minus 5 a e to the minus 5 t and then okay this okay the second term is more complicated here okay let's do u prime t right so we need to use this let's say that this is a u dt and then this one will be p okay remember that u p prime is equal to u prime p plus u p prime good what is u prime p u prime p is just d u prime p is just d right because the derivative of dt is p so we'll have p and then p p is e to the minus good and then plus u we will have pt and then p prime p prime will be minus 5 minus 5 e to the minus 5 t good okay now let's simplify things here so we will have this one di dt is equal to minus 5 
a to the e to the minus 5p plus b e to the minus 5p then minus 5b p e to the minus 5p good now let's plug zero into it right okay let's use different color here because if we plug zero here di dt zero and so we will have minus 5a but a is 10 let's just plug 10 here and then e to the minus 5 multiplied by 0 then plus b e to the minus 5 multiplied by 0 and then minus this one will be 0 right because this thing is 0 5b multiplied by 0 e to the minus 5b good and here that will be 0 and here we will have minus 50 multiplied by 1 and then plus this one will be b multiplied by 1 and then this one will be 0 right because b multiplied by 0 good so we can solve this we will have minus 50 move it to the left hand side so we'll have 50 is equal to b or b is equal to 50 good now we have our a and we have our b so we will have our final solution final solution we'll have id is equal to 10 e to the minus 5p and then plus b p is 50 multiplied by d e to the minus 5p and this is the final answer to this problem I think that's all for this problem. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.